If on September 6, 2019, you were too busy getting swindled by microtransactions in Fortnite, rather than watching Donald Trump swindle the country with his presidency, you might be a first time voter and you might not remember how gag inducingly corrupt things got when this guy was president. So let me take you back to one day under Donald Trump. On September 6, 2019, Congress announced investigations into Trump's blatant self dealing, AKA using the presidency to line his own pockets. Checking out, checking in on your dime. Oh, I've spoken with a, quite a number of presidential historians who say that they see nothing like this in American history. Across taxpayers more than $20 million. A big scandal at the time involved Mike Pence, who decided to stay at Trump's golf resort in Doonbeg, Ireland, despite the fact that his actual government meetings were across the country in Dublin. Opportunity to stay at Trump National in Doonbeg to accommodate the unique footprint that comes with our security detail made it logical. We checked it with the State Department. I was pleased to have the opportunity. Nice product placement, Mike. It's like every character in his show conveniently holding a Pepsi label right to the camera but instead of a refreshing soda, it's blatant corruption. Also, the Air Force stopped over at a Trump-owned golf course in Scotland twice during trips to the Middle East, which was, quote, highly unusual for members of the military who typically stay and refuel at military bases. Of course, these stays had nothing to do with the fact that Trump's golf courses in Ireland and Scotland had been losing money, and Trump could, quote, use government funds to prop up these properties by forcing military members and government officials to stay. Trump was giving his own failing businesses a bailout and using our money to do it. Trump even tried to host the extremely important G7 summit at another of his golf resorts in Florida. An event sure to fill every room, bring untold publicity to his property, and in so doing, say critics, make Trump a ton of money. Trump used his platform to promote his own businesses hundreds of times while in office, hosted 145 foreign officials and 141 members of Congress. Congress and made over 500 taxpayer funded visits to his own golf courses and other properties. And after he lost the 2020 election, Trump's grift has just gotten sadder. It's Donald Trump's latest money making scheme, gold sneaker. Go to gettrumpwatches.com. It's Trump time. Donald Trump has now partnered with country singer Lee Greenwood to sell $60 God Bless the USA Bibles. By popular demand, I'm doing a new series of Trump digital trading cards. I love gold. I love diamonds. I love gold. Dude, for someone who claims to be a billionaire, you're sure out here hustling like a YouTuber with a merch line. And as usual, Trump's grift has no shame. He's become America's beggar in chief. He begs for money. Beggar in chief might be harsh, but I see Trump as more of an oblivious sitcom husband who just keeps draining the family account while we, America, are Annie Murphy and Kevin can F himself. It's exhausting, it's toxic, and he's still making us pay for his mess. And since it's also your party, you get to pick up the supplies. The money's gone. Kevin drained the account. Can't stop greatness. America, we deserve better than this. It's time to leave this dead weight behind, and it all starts with your vote on November 5th.